Hi, I'm Tony Thorson, and I'd just like to thank you for taking my course on JavaScript Robotics, an introduction to Cylon.js. Maybe you've heard of the term node bots, but maybe you haven't. Now, if you haven't, node bots are essentially robots controlled by applications running under Node.js. This course will not run you through a complete robot project, but instead, it will cover fundamentals that you can take and apply to your own robotics, IoT, wearable, or even home automation projects using a JavaScript robotics framework called Cylon.js. So if you are interested in JavaScript, and you like to make things, then you have come to the right course, and I welcome you with my open virtual arms. Now before we dive in, I just want to give you a bit of a bio on me, so you know who is steering the ship. There's me, on one of my better hair days, of course. And as you can imagine, I love tuxedo t-shirts, brushing my hair, and a good shampoo. I'm kidding, of course. I mean, maybe this guy likes those things. I don't actually know, because I have no idea who he is. He seems like a nice, fun guy, though. Anyway. Now, here's your actual instructor. So what makes me qualified to teach this course? Well, I have nine and a half years of real-world experience, and I put real world in quotes because experience comes in many different forms through side or homebrew projects, projects for your job, academics, etc. And all of it is technically in the real world. So to state that a bit more clearly, I've been out of school and developing full time for nine and a half years, which I feel is what a lot of people refer to as the real world. To each their own. I also have bachelor's and master's degrees in computer science, and I consider myself a perpetual student. I have a deep-rooted passion for technology, and I love sharing my ideas through blogs, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, teaching, etc. I'm also very interested in helping you learn. By that, I mean that I value seeing others grow and learn, and if I can aid in that process at all, then I feel I have succeeded. I seriously want you to get the most you possibly can out of this course, so if something isn't clear, if the quality of the course is kinda meh, or if you want me to cover something that I missed or didn't focus too heavily on, please leave me the appropriate feedback so that I can make necessary changes. You'll also see me adding to and updating this course over time, as I want you to get as much knowledge from this course as I have to offer, and I want it to remain as up-to-date and relevant as possible. And finally, I love cheesy jokes. And shampoo. You'll see a smattering of terrible jokes and puns throughout this course, as you've already witnessed with the previous slide, so hold on as I try to keep this course educational, yet mildly entertaining. In this first introductory section, I will be giving you a list of tools you will see used throughout the course, and I will even give you a quick overview of one in particular, the fritzing application. Our targeted platform for this course is the Arduino microcontroller, so you will get some background info on the device, as well as any necessary knowledge for getting things set up and configured properly for the development tasks that lie ahead. Of course, the main star of this course is the Cylon.js framework. This is a framework built with robotics in mind, so it allows you to control electronic components with the JavaScript language, instead of having to utilize lower level system or machine languages like you may have had to do in years past in order to work with electronic components. With the information I provide, I will also be giving demonstrations and creating projects to help solidify the concepts learned in this course. The last point I want to cover in this overview lecture is, why JavaScript? Out of all the languages out there, especially lower level languages that might be better suited for dealing with hardware, why did I choose JavaScript? Well, because it is a high-level language, it is fairly easy to pick up, as opposed to machine language where you're dealing more with the bits and bytes. Yes, there are a lot of intricacies with JavaScript as well, just like with a lot of languages, and I recommend you checking out any work published by Douglas Crockford if you want a deeper dive into the language itself. It's a very popular language right now, especially in the web world with Angular, Knockout, Backbone, etc. And with Node.js gaining more and more popularity, Frameworks and libraries have sprung up all over the place, so your web development JavaScript skills are transferable to back-end or system-level applications that deal with things in the makerspace, like microcontrollers. It's also platform-independent. Now, I'm not just talking about web applications versus back-end applications, but I'm referring more to operating systems like OS X, Windows, Linux, etc., so it can appeal to developers in many different areas. Hopefully this overview has given you a better idea as to what to expect in this course, as well as the reasons I created it. Again, please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your learning experience any better, and I will make the necessary adjustments. Without further ado, let's get started.